McLean Hatch History and Physical Characteristics McLean Hatch is one of the most popular Gamecock, not because of its winning record but because of its, do or die, no retreat no surrender, behaviors. In short, of all of the game foul breeds and roosters, McLean Hatches have the bigger balls and are willing to die than run away. McLean Hatch Origin and Profile The Hatch blood came from Sanford Hatch who blended, as the story goes, a carny white hackle with a carny brown red, mixing in other blood like the Herman Durier Boston Roundheads, and Jim Thompson Mahoganies, among others, to come up with his signature Hatch Fowl. From the Sandy Hatch stocks came Ted McLean's version of Hatch that came both yellow and green-legged. Supposedly, these were the better Hatches that gave rise to the other variants of the McLean-like Gilmore Hatch, Blueface Hatch, Jack Walton Hatch, Kentucky Hatch, Oak Grove Hatch, etc. The McLean Hatch is one of the legendary game fowl breeds that has stood the test of time among broodstock breeders, and its offshoot, the Blueface Hatch has gained its own following among game fowl aficionados looking for a good fighter. Ted McLean retired from the game fowl competition in December of 1954, McLean Hatch. In the early 30s, Mr. E.S. Hatch and Mr. E.T. McLean were on the floor of the stock exchange as colleagues and were sharing some game fowl for crossing to find that perfect fighter. At the time, the Hatch stock consisted of four basic bloodlines. These were the Carney makeup of the two strains Mike Carney brought from Ireland, namely the Beastie, Breasted Light Reds, White Hackles, and the Brown Breasted Reds, plus the Herman Durier Fowl, commonly called Boston Roundheads, which he added when he worked for Mr. Durier. With these three bloodlines, Mr. Hatch crossed into a fourth, the Green Leg Thompson, Jim Thompson Fowl. The created progeny of the McLean Hatch, Ted himself considered as straight stuff, game fowl or cocks with gameness, toughness, and power, the mark of the Hatch bloodline. The McLean Hatch fighting style. While the first McLean Hatches did not win all the time, they were admired by many for their aggressive, no holds barred attitude and suicide attack mode. The previous bloodlines of McLean Hatches did not win all the time, they were admired by many for their aggressive, no holds barred attitude and suicide attack mode. McLean Hatch were rather poor cutters, low headed dumb fighters, that usually fly into two or three hits before throwing one of their patented haymakers at their opponents. They either won spectacularly or lost as incredibly as well. When modern game foul became faster, a pure McLean Hatch became less of a threat, and they are now considered at a disadvantage if fought pure. Their value today is as base stock or to produce battle cocks infused with the straight stuff, hatch traits, gameness, power hitting, and toughness. Modern hatches are more high flying and are faster, many coming more brainy than usual. Their usual characteristics like power and gameness, though, are still there, their blows often packing a wallop. They are basically medium stationed and pea combed with some coming straight combed. Disclaimer. No copyright infringement intended. All music, picture and videos inserted belongs to the rightful owner. For educational documentary and entertainment purpose only.